Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris over at Dixieland Farm. I just got in from riding the exercise bike and mowing and, uh, you know, doing whatever around the farm. It's, uh, so that's why I'm sweaty. Um, I'm going to show you how to replace a stylus and get into that real quick. But first, if you like me, well maybe you're not like me, but I don't know. You, you have a lot of subscriptions, right? And the new YouTube layout is not helpful at finding your friends, right? You know, I mean, I've got, I think, I don't know, 180 people I'm subscribed to. And, you know, if you're my friend, you know, I don't want to miss any of your videos. Wes showed on his channel, Supra Wes, S-U-P-R-A-W-E-S, uh, showed a Google Chrome extension that uh, puts the grid back in your subscriptions, uh, which is great. Uh, however, it is limited to, I don't know, 50 um, entries. And, you know, if you miss a couple of days, things get knocked off. Uh, so down here in the uh, notes, I've given you a link for an RSS feed where it says username. Put in your username. So for me, I'd type in Dixieland Farm, one word, and I would put that in an RSS news feeder uh, program. And if you have a username with a space in it, your username actually isn't the name space plus whatever. It's something, you know, all convoluted, like, you know, lowercase r, 3, 2, 7, a, g. So, you know, you have to look around your channel to find out what your real username is. Paste that, you know, where it says username in, take the whole thing, the whole URL, dump it in an RSS feed, and then the RSS feed will just constantly keep track of, you know, all the people you're subscribed to. So you never have to worry about missing uh, a video. Uh, I mean, you know, I don't want to miss Vinyl Rewind. I don't know if you watch him. He's great, Eric. Uh, and uh, Billie Jean Gunn, you know, I, I'm, I, I can't miss Billie Jean. I'm uh, working on those, um, those uh, marriage laws, Billie Jean. Uh, the, um, you know, there's still hope. Don't worry. We're, we'll, we'll get it. We'll, 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 we'll get Second Wives approved. Don't worry. So, anyway, how to replace the stylus, right? Blue thing is the stylus, the silver is the cartridge. This is the Stanton Mark 500 Mark II. They don't make this anymore. I love my cartridge. And stylus is uh, actually not very expensive to replace. Um, the stylus wears out. The cartridge almost rarely doesn't. Now, for your cartridge and stylus, the stylus might be only $5 less, so it just makes sense to replace the whole thing. But this is no longer made. I want to keep it, and the stylus is cheap. So what do you do? You take your fingers, and you pull. That's it. Stylus is out. That's that's. I'm, I'm replacing the stylus as we speak, being very careful not to touch the needle. The new one. Push it in. Locked in place. The stylus has been replaced. That's the end of the video, everybody. So uh, yours might be different. It might be kind of a pull down, pull out. You know, but there's nothing to it. So uh, you're supposed to replace these every 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 hours. It all depends. You know, if you listen to a record a day, I think good advice would be replace it every year, um, every other day or weekends. You know, you can get by with more. But uh, you know, the cartridge doesn't wear out for the most part. It's the stylus, it's the cantilever, you know, the suspension, all the stuff that's going on. That's the part that touches the record. So that's the part that needs to be replaced. So just like tires. So get to it. You'll have better sound. You make sure you don't wear out your records.